When I built my house seven years ago, I made it incredibly airtight because it's a great way to save energy costs on heating and cooling. However, we occupants, we need fresh air for breathing. <laughs> so I added what's called an HRV or heat recovery ventilator. And that uh, device is something that needs a little bit of maintenance. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are on the back side of the house. This is the north side, and there are these two hoods that I installed in the back of the house. Now these hoods go through the rim joist and into the crawl space, which we're gonna see in a minute. But the maintenance starts out here. Now this hood is the exhaust, and this other one on the other side is the intake. Now I built these out of three quarter inch PVC trim board stock. It was leftover stock from when I trimmed out the house. I put some screen material underneath them to keep the bugs from getting in. Now this hood is the exhaust and if we look we can see it's actually very clean inside and you can see that four inch PVC pipe. That plastic pipe is what goes through the rim joist. So this is a platform construction. We have a crawl space underneath with a stem wall. We have sill plates, rim joists, and then the floor above it. So it makes it easy for mechanicals when you have a space underneath the house to work in. This other hood, this is the intake. And this one collects dust. You can see right here. We can't even see up through it. So we're gonna just turn on the shop vac. Well, now that's clean and you can see inside, we have another four inch pipe that goes in. We're gonna head into the crawl space and clean the HRV unit itself. Here's the HRV and behind me is the ducts that lead outside. Well, this is the intake duct. It comes from the room joist cavity over and into the HRV and out the other side on the back that is the exhaust going out the rim joist. You have to keep them separated. I think it's a minimum of four feet uh, so that the <laughs> so that the dirty air doesn't come back in the fresh air and I think I have seven or eight feet here separating them. All right here we go. So here's the inside and you can see it's a uh, it's a foam rubbery type material which forms a gasket on everything. So what I'll do is I'll take this upstairs and clean the dust off. The dirt is built up inside there. So this is on the intake side and this is the exhaust side. So what happens is fresh air is drawn in here, goes through the core and then back. And it gets sucked into that fan uh, blower and blows out to the house through this port. Exhaust air comes in this side through the core and back to that other fan and blows out the exhaust port, which is back here. There's a spring clip in here. We just take this spring off. That's all it is. And now this sponge material can come out. And we'll be taking this upstairs and wash it so it looks just like the other side. All right. You can see that even though it looks a little dirty around the edges, it's actually clean. We can see through all the holes so it's not clogged up. We can better see that intake port comes in right there. And there's a temperature sensor. And there's the blowers. Now it's one motor and two fans. When we look at this, it's fairly simple. You have some sensors, you have a fan, and then you have this heat recovery core. But this recaptures 85% of the energy 
and make sure that we keep having fresh air in the house. So it is absolutely worth it. All cleaned up. I did take them over to the sink and soaked them up a little bit and rinsed them thoroughly. Now some of these things are still a little damp, but that's okay because there's this plastic tray right here and it collects the condensate, which drips down to the condensate pump. So it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of water still in this. And slide it in. These just go in place. That's all it takes for the maintenance on this HRV. Now I tend to wash out those internal components maybe once a year and the outside screens, I'll vacuum those out a few times a year. They tend to pick up the bigger particles and get dirtier quicker than this guy does. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the links in the description below, like the Patreon link. That really does help me out if you'd like to help support the channel. Thank you very much.